Yes, this is Parish Future Prophecy 5, Section 10, Letter I, 2 of 5. Um, also, I want to interject this version of my intuition story because in this one, um, I also have seen, after I heard the psychic sound coming from the future, of uh, two brown bubbles, of, of like, of, I guess, sound bubbles. That's all I like to describe it. But anyhow, uh, here's a video. And this video I made is in Captain Parrish YouTube channel. This video is in Captain Parrish YouTube channel. This piece is number 13. This piece is called Section 10, 13 Intuition Story, or S10, 13 IX. In the month of April 18, 2010, I recorded this intuition story inside my dream book. At 6.03 a.m., while I sat inside a McDonald's restaurant, which is located on the corner of Fulton Street and Flatbush Avenue, I was abruptly interrupted from working on my Hanks to Alaska DVD by a very awesome, ear-shattering, psychic explosive explosion that was first picked up in my left ear and then almost simultaneously in my right ear had also picked up this mega sound. I sat by the window inside this McDonald's store. The sky outside was very great on this day. This, this psychic sound was also different because it because this psychic sound produced uh, a ear burst. I picked up in my psychic ear, and this ear burst came in the form of two bubble dark brown sacks of ear, ear sacks. I also psychically heard it, and also after I heard it psych uh, uh, psychically, uh, in my mind's eye, I see these two bubble brown patches of, uh, of air, air sacks. Uh, one part of the air sacks out of the two was outside the window of the domes, and the other part of the air sack was inside the domes floor. After this psychic incident, I then realized that when this psychic explosion become real one day, it would almost certainly break lots of window with this blast wave. And I have drawn this, these two air sacks. Like I one, one of the air sacks was outside, I see my psychic eyes, uh, and all the air sacks was inside the McDonald's store. So this is what I see in my mind. To obtain a better image of this video, this goes straight to Captain Parrish and Punch Up, if you please. Parrish's Future Prophecy 5, Section 10, Letter I, 2 of 5. Now, let me show you guys the, uh, the blanket of flame, the last blanket of flame drawing I made in my prophecies. Stay tuned. Okay. This is Parrish, Future Prophecies, Part 5. Section 10, letter I, 4 of 5. This clip contained a drawing of a blanket of flame that appeared inside my house located on Halsey Street.
I sensed that this sound came down from the clouds. The next number in this piece is the number 25. This piece is called Section 10, 20, 25 Intuition Story. Well, S1025 IS. In the month of October 16, 2010, I recorded this intuition story in some of the people. Saturday morning, time 4, 42 a.m., as I sat in front of my television, working on Parish Prophecy 5, I was quickly startled by an unbelievable, powerful psychic explosion that I, I seen first in my mind's eye, and then I heard the sound. The flashlight was, after I, I seen a flashlight in my mind's eye, then I heard the psychic sound. The flashlight was luminous, and it was kind of like fluffy, it was like a, a flash of light, so speckles of flames over the flashlight. And the flames were red. And this thing appeared in the middle of my room, slightly, you know, in my vision. And then I heard the sound. And the sound sounded like Baka Boom. It frightened me so. I think this was the most terrifying sound I heard with, you know, seeing the, uh, the bubble of the flashlight, which was in the bubble. And Flashlight was bright as white and had like red flames. Then I heard the powerful sound. I was completely frightened. This sight experience up to date was the most terrifying psychic uh, thing I heard you know, in recent time. It was frightening so much that I had to draw what I seen. After this one was really not a blanket, but it was like, well, a blanket is fluffed out, put it that way. Okay, so basically, you know, truly I am dealing with a living God. Because he, uh, not only does he show me physical events in the future, he also allowed me to hear audible events that people will hear you know uh, they will hear these things and it will frighten them and it will make their teeth you know they will gnaw their teeth uh, they'll just be completely paralyzed by fear because of the sound now, my reaction from the sound when I heard it revealed to me was that lots of times I felt like this ducking. A lot of these sounds I picked up, you know, willy-nilly, you know, like I could be inside McDonald's working on my prophecies. I could be, I could be inside of a, of a, a Brooklyn bus. I can be, you know, walking down the streets. I could, you know, actually to sit home and I guess watch television and all of a sudden kaboom I hear this sound. Now people are hearing this sound also. A lot of the sound was given to me in 2009, 10, a little bit of 11 currently speaking uh, here in September 21st 2011 a Wednesday night. I haven't received any sounds today from the future um, I guess for a few months I haven't received any sounds from the future. 
I guess, you know, God allowed me to hear what I need it to hear. But anyhow, people, thank you for sharing a bit of your time with me. May God be with you, may God dwell within you, and may God bless you. Take care, everyone.